time to see if I can win this awardy award of awards. So ladies, who wants to dance with me? This is sure a nice party, all right. Pretty good looking catering over there. I wonder what kind of food. Damn it, I knew I forgot to shave. I see it. Okay, um, hey guys, uh, Nitsa Gamer here, um, right now I'm hiding in a storage room, security is trying to escort me out because I didn't shave. Seriously, the, them and their BS rules, I mean seriously, there's anthropomorphics who come to this party, I mean, what are they gonna do, shave the fur off or something, I don't know. Well, might as well get a vlog out of the way. This is Sonic Boom Vlogs, Episode 5, My Fair Stixie. Hey, Broom. So the episode starts off where we suddenly see a meteor shower for some reason, which is never brought up in the plot later, so it's kind of pointless. So the, this, the whole scene is kind of pointless, but... Then again, there's a, kind of, there's a few pointless scenes that I will actually mention uh, in this vlog. So, the basic plot is that Styx gets a letter from, uh, Mayor Dink. I know he has a name, but that's what I'm calling him, Mayor Dink. And, uh, she's nominated for the Awardee Award, where she can actually, uh, get an award, or a shiny as she calls it, if she presents herself as a great public figure. But, of course, Styx, being the one that has lived her life, uh, in the wild and all alone, she has no understanding on how to act like a lady. Now, of course, when I read the synopsis for this episode, I was like, okay, if you want to act like a lady, act like a freaking person. That's all you gotta do. But, in this case, it actually works, because you, you know that Styx probably lived her life in the wild and all that, and she's been on her own so she has like a different instinct and all that so therefore she doesn't really have that same um common sense that you know amy and everybody else would have where they would present themselves you know as normal people where she if she presents herself as normal then obviously she would be doing like you know wild animal things and yeah pretty much amy trains her to become you know a lady and all that how to be polite and even if the even though Styx is trying to be polite like actually sniffing and saying you don't stink because amy has good perfume or whatever you don't stink it actually brings up that irony that she is being nice but not in the right way and yeah even with all their effort to actually improve her ladylike skills and all that she never actually becomes ready but the time is coming anyway, so we might as well actually get her ready. And yeah, it's actually interesting how Amy, Sonic, and Styx are the only ones that are dressed up. Knuckles and Tails for some reason are not. So yeah, there is some stuff that is going on in the party. So you have Knuckles who tries the food, spits it out, and then he makes friends with some old chaps. <laughs> Sir, you have the audacity to say what we're all thinking. You simply must join us. Me? Okay. Red Cradicchio spread. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, you got Amy, who is face palming when Styx does something embarrassing, even though Styx is trying her best to fit in. And when she actually does try to fit in, suddenly she sees the other people in the competition, along with Dr. Eggman himself. So yeah, Dr. Eggman comes in and he cheats by trying to submit as many ballads as possible. And yeah, when Eggman finds out that he doesn't win the Awardee Award, he decides to attack everybody in the most evilest way as possible. Stop her bot! Stop their ballads! Run! It's a bunch of votes! And then, of course, the rest of the episode is as you would imagine. Action scene, Stick saves the day, Sonic does his usual thing, and that's pretty much it. Now, the interesting thing about this episode is that for a basic concept, you definitely understand why Styx actually needs to practice, you know, presenting herself as a lady, like an actual person, because she is so used to having that instinct of being in the wild and all alone, so therefore she doesn't actually have an understanding of how to present herself publicly so therefore amy has to be able to teach her that and even though she actually doesn't actually succeed in the end 
It's interesting how they ended because it does end in a way where basically Amy actually learns that being too perfect is not always the right way to actually be perfect as yourself. So yeah, I guess that's kind of the moral of the episode. But yeah, there, there is some interesting things about this episode that I will definitely bring up. One of them is that the device that Eggman is using to actually stop Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails is actually the same device that he actually took from Laric after the events of Rise of Laric. Yet for some reason this actually doesn't control robots like it did in the game, but instead traps them in a force field, which is not something that actually happened in Rise of Laric. So yeah, whatever this bracelet thing does is actually inconsistent for some reason. But yeah, Eggman actually finally puts it to use and yeah, I'm, all, all I'm wondering is where the heck is Larrick in the TV show? <laughs> Poor Larrick. And yeah, there's definitely moments in the episode that do actually go nowhere and things that are brought up. Like, at the very beginning, there's a meteor shower, and yet for some reason that's never brought up again later in the episode. And then there's also a moment where Comedy Chimp actually makes two appearances at random in the house. But yeah, for some reason, just never appears again. And yeah, Comedy Chimp was briefly mentioned in Episode 2 of Sonic Boom when Eggman was watching TV. And yeah, he only makes two appearances within this episode. And they're all pretty pointless just to hammer in a kid's joke. And that's pretty much it. Why do I even bother with you guys? And then, of course, you got moments with Mayor Dink actually saying that he should fire his speech writer, writer and all that. And... So yeah, as a whole, it's a pretty messy episode for the most part, but for the most part, it's pretty solid, you know, as a kid's show. And honestly, I can't really say much about it. I mean, it's actually pretty interesting how you actually do see the characters not as their usual naked selves, but actually wearing, you know, dress shirts and all that. So Sonic of Hedgehog. No. Please, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of fancy folk. <sighs> Fine, but I'm not wearing pants. That's right, Sonic. You tell them. I mean, it's bad enough that they gave you a scarf. I mean, you deserve to be naked. We love you naked, and we want to see you naked. That is the true Sonic that we want to see. So yeah, as a whole, it's actually a pretty good episode for the most part, and there's really not much I can actually say about this episode. It's just a basic episode about Sticks going to a party, learning become, to become a woman, failing you know, for the most part, and it's an episode that's pretty much a filler episode, but it's an episode that's still pretty enjoyable. So yeah, there's really not much I can say about it, so I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I know I'm kind of jumping ahead because, uh, well, the first two episodes are pretty good, and the fourth episode, as I said, was kind of a downgrade from the third episode. I think this episode actually really expands on actually showing like the environment of the island that they're on as well as the background characters and the plot of the episode is pretty basic enough and even though there's stuff that doesn't go anywhere it's a pretty solid episode for the most part and there's definitely stuff that is brought up that is no long that is no doubt gonna appear in the later episodes so yeah i'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10 it's a pretty solid episode for the most part and i think that's really all i can say about it so Thank you guys for watching this Sonic Boom vlog, and um, all I can say is hopefully security doesn't find me anytime soon and I find something to shave myself with. Yeah, so um, I'll see you guys in the next Sonic Boom vlogs, and I'll tell you if I won the Awardy Award of Awards. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next Sonic Boom vlogs. Goodbye.